Uh, it was long, it was hard, it was uh, it was good. We're, we're putting a lot of stuff mentally on these guys, so it's their responsibility to catch up to us. You know, the vets are going to go right through it and keep, keep running. But we got a lot of young kids. We spent the last 15 minutes of practice with our, all of our young players. Uh, he's uh, going to be a real good kicker, so we've got to get the snap, hold, and his kick. But if he just was standing back there kicking it with no one rushing, it would be fine. But we've got to work on all the other points of it. We've also got to uh, work on our returner, who's going to be returning it. We've got we've put Braxton Amy back there on punts, which will be the first time he's done that. He's got real good hands, and we think he's going to make good decisions. And um, we've got some other guys, the young kids, trying out for kickoff return and, and punt return. So those are some things in special teams that they're going to work on. I think the new coaches are doing a great job. You know, we've already had spring together, and then we had 10 camps that we did this summer together. So they're new to the public, but they're old faces now to, to each other. So we're getting along real good, and, and uh, we're understanding. We still have some things to, to work out, uh, you know, as far as organization. But I thought that was a real good Our, coaches have a lot of enthusiasm. Um, I liked a lot of the, the, the big kids on defense. Uh, I thought they looked good. Uh, I was pleased with that. I don't know how our offensive line did. I haven't had a chance to really, I didn't watch them as much as I did the defense. But I like the, the young defensive linemen that we have in, in, uh, on defense. Yeah, I think there's a lot of position battles. Uh, uh, hopefully we're going to be make that real competition. Competition breeds success, and we've got to make sure that we uh, g give everyone an opportunity and give everyone a good look. So that's what we're going to be doing for the first week, maybe first eight practices, is putting, putting guys in there with the number one team. I think we have enough linebackers that are healthy, if they stay healthy, uh, to be fine, to be able to run this defense, and they know what they're doing. So um, I don't know if we have a starting linebackers right now, but we're moving guys in and out. There are some guys that, uh, you know, I, like I said earlier, the defensive linemen, uh, the young defensive linemen look like they're going to be able to help us. And uh, we'll just see how that lasts, you know. Um, and then uh, uh, maybe a, a defensive back or two will help out. So, um, and they'll also help in special teams. So that's good. But we'll have some some of the 30 new people. Obviously, Dakota Warren's one of them, and, and he's going to help out a lot. It's, it's exciting. You know, everyone's excited the first day. Guys are going a million miles an hour, maybe even too fast at some at some moments. You know, and I mean, there's a lot of stuff being put in. There's a lot of new faces. So I mean, it, it's a bit chaotic at times, but guys are definitely fired up, and I felt like this was a very productive first day. Well, this being my third defense, I guess I guess that makes me more versatile, something like that. But uh, I don't know. This is this may be my favorite defense we've ran since I've been here. Um, it gives me a lot of freedom. You know, I, I get to make checks. You know, if I don't like the way something looks, I can I can change that, correct that. You know, they give me a lot of freedom, and uh, it's a extremely pro style defense. You know, our coordinators and the pros. And I mean, I've even asked some of the guys that are with some teams right now, and they're they're doing the same exact stuff as us. So I'm excited about that, and I think it's a good fit for our defense and a good fit for this conference. I like him. He, he's a man right now. He, I mean, he's. He's calm, but I mean, he, he gets the job done. He gets the best out of his players, and uh, I think I mean that's that's key. Just getting the best out of out of everybody, you know. And I mean, he just preaches everyone to do their job. And I mean, that's all we need to be successful. I mean, no, no one's bigger than the system, and that's what he preaches. And uh, I mean, I feel like that's what we're getting out of the guys, and, and it's gonna work out for us. I'm I'm embracing it. Um, I I mean, this is I guess my my second senior season, so I mean I. I got a warm up at it last year, trying to be that guy, and this year I feel better prepared. You know, just seeing where we fell short last season, things that didn't go well, and uh, I mean, I feel like that's going to help me a lot, and I could use some of those tools to, you know, get the best out of our guys this season, so we don't make those same mistakes, and we'll be a much more productive defense. It feels great, you know. It, it's been a, a long, trying road, going through all these injuries, you know. Um, I completed my first spring, so that's a good sign. First spring out of six years, so um, I'm hoping that'll carry over into the fall, and I can maintain this health, stay in one piece. No, I mean, I, I always feel pressure to stay healthy, just because. I mean, after this season, I guess I'm, I'm leaving behind the legacy, and I don't want to be known as a guy that was always hurt. So I mean, I, I'm always striving to stay healthy. And,
And I mean, it, it, I, I think about it in the back of my mind, you know, I, I don't want to be that guy anymore. <laughs> Oh, it went good. It was fun. You know, it's it's always fun to get them back out here working on football. You know, they've been running and lifting and doing all these things to change their bodies um, through the summer, and now you get a chance for them to come out here and play the game. And, you know, I think our veteran guys did a great job of recall from the spring. Uh, obviously, we got some things we got to continue to work on to get better, but I was very pleased with with the carryover from where we ended spring to coming back the first day and not having to start back at ground zero. Well, you know, I went through it in spring with it too, but it's fun, you know, he's, he's, he's the Mike Price that I remember, you know, and, uh, you know, he, he, you may think that he may not see something because he's looking down at the offensive end and you're down at the defensive end, but he sees it and he comes up and he talks to you about it and, you know, I think that's the thing, he keeps the coaches um, accountable for their position, but on the same hand, uh, he keeps practice lively, it energized, it never lets it get dull. And I think that's great for the players. I mean, practice flew by. You know, all of a sudden, I'm like, man, we were period 17 already. It didn't seem like we were out here very long. And that's from Mike's influence of how he, how he runs the practices. And so you get a lot of work real fast, and, and the energy level stays high. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, maybe they just tell me that because they're afraid to tell me something different that I don't know. Uh, but, I, you know, I think their attitude has given me the impression that they like what we're doing. And, you know, we just got to continue to get better and the proof is in the pudding. You know, when we, when we kick it off on September 4th against Arkansas Pine Bluff, then the whole world will be able to see whether it's good or bad. And that's the way I look at it is that, you know, we're, gonna, we're not going to talk with our mouths. We're going to talk with action, and you know, we you have to prove who we are. You know, what happened in the past and what happened in the future happens in the future doesn't mean anything. It's all about right now, and we make our own legacy by how we play. And so, when they kick the ball off, that's the proof of whether I'm doing a good job or not, and whether those players execute or not. And, you know, that's the way I see it. Oh, that's a tremendous uh, deal for us to have Braxton back. You know, I think he's one of the top safeties in the country. You know, he, he's got tremendous speed and length. Uh, he has great range on the ball, and he has hands like a wide receiver. You know, and he, and he can make plays on the ball. And whenever you have a chance to have a playmaker on defense, it gives your defense a chance to be special. And I think that guy has tremendous upside. And the teams that I were with in the NFL, you know, that guy could walk in and be a nickelback for you right now. You know, because he, he'll strike you, he can cover him on the receiver, and he's athletic and quick. So um, we're very fortunate to have him. I hope, I hope the fans notice a couple things. I hope, number one, that they see physicalness that these guys play with. That's number one. Then number two, I hope that they see that we don't give up yards in big chunks. You know what I mean? So if they throw the ball and they're completing a seven yard pass or a, or a ten yard pass and we rally up and tackle them, that's good defense. You don't want to throw, have them completing 25, 30 yard, 45, 55 yard passes that gives you a chance for them field and helps their scoring go up and our offensive scoring go down because they flip the field you know so um, that's our biggest thing is that the, the kids understand that what's a good defensive play and what's a bad defensive play because a lot of times as was well the players as well as fans they think on defense the only time it's a positive play is if we sack the quarterback or we get an interception or we cause a fumble that's not true you know what I mean if, if, if we keep the yardage down and able to get off the field on third down, then you're going to keep the scoring down, which, which in turn give us a chance to win the games. Um, it's definitely exciting. Um, just trying to get the nerves out of my system right now. First day of practice, everything. Trying to get comfortable with the system. And, uh, just trying to do my job, and that's about it. It's, it's definitely a challenge. Um, I'm obviously going to do all three this year, so it's, it's kind of hard to focus on kicking, punting, and kickoff and try to get all of them fundamentally sound because each one is so different. So I'm trying to really just be consistent at each one and just work from there. I feel good. Um, my kickoffs, my field goals, and my punting are right where I want it to be right now. I'm just trying to get just more consistent and get to hit the ball farther. So I feel good. I feel real good. It was great. It was, it was a lot of up-tempo. Guys moving around real fast. Not kind of used to that. It's not like that in high school. It's different from high school. 
Uh, that's pretty good. It, you know, it helps with the time and it getting better, getting getting better acquainted to the playbook, learning your receivers. Cause newcomer guy just came in Monday, and I've been here since July 1st, so I got to get used to this. Uh, he helps me a lot with everything since the day I got here. He helped me with from everything with, from the playbook to the drops to the route tree, from everything. He's a great guy. You get a chance to. Uh, Meet guys that you never really have a, had time to talk to, like with other guys on defense. You know, you get to mingle with them, get to know them better. Because as a freshman, as I walked in in July 1st, I, everybody kind of like ran up on me, and I could really, I got a chance to meet everybody in, June, in July. I ain't scared of nothing. I, but I'm looking forward to it. I want to see what it is, because that's all everybody talk about. <laughs>